Uh, and they described hearing and feeling loud explosions as a result of that crash. It started uh, up there on the Mass Ave connector, the SUV hitting that concrete barrier and then plummeted 40 feet below to the Mass Pike exit off of 93 North. Now that car immediately bursted into flames when it hit the cement barrier and then continued to burn on that exit ramp below until firefighters were able to come and extinguish the fire. Once it was out, you can see how little was left of that that car. Firefighters say the driver here died. Thankfully, no one else was in the car and no one was driving on that busy exit ramp below. Witnesses say the driver was going about 75 miles an hour at impact. We spoke with a woman who saw the whole thing. She called 911, but she did not want to show her face. Listen. I just saw the explosion. I don't know if it crashed or if it blew up and came over. Like that's basically, I heard a big kaboom and the vehicle flew up over the side and landed on the ground. Oh, I would say at least uh, 40 feet. Yeah, 40 feet drop. It was on fire when it came over and it landed on fire on the bottom of the ramp. Now, crews worked for hours to remove the driver's remains from the vehicle. Both MBTA and Amtrak service was halted temporarily as a result of this crash that happened right next to the Wydet Circle tracks. 93 North and Frontage Road also at a standstill this morning back here live. You can see they put up some temporary fencing up near that concrete barrier there as traffic here has reopened. Uh, it's unclear what caused that person to speed into that barrier leading to their death. We're live in South Boston. I'm Peter Eliopoulos, WCVB News Center 5. Wow. All right, Peter, thank you.